again. We are starting 50 years today to move together. Sawani Vanunga Vasazo Tarira Kwandiri Tarira Kunashejes Muzoata Nangurira Kwaiva no moon Songa na na mari Kupai pampo Mari waka Sosira tita Love it all Yaka wa Nika shinji Pasi rosi Mambo wa mwari Hupa ritwa Kerekende ya jesu Hainga sombofa Vana yuna Nana isekio Vechi doko Kana uchida kumako Mba kwa randireri Usachka usata Kamba, 
Follow me as I follow Christ. The Kapua Zimunda Sakavan. Oh, yeah. Mumunda. Mumunda. My job is to connect you to Jesus Christ. I commend you to the Lord Jesus Christ.
one more time. Say neighbor. neighbor. Help me praise the Lord. Give your neighbor a high five. Come on, give your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, give me space. We want to dance for the Lord. We want to take you to DRC right now. Right now. Tell your neighbor, we are going to DRC right now. Suppose are you ready? Hallelujah. Kushika nasi tiripano. 
Kingdom Greetings, people of God. I am Elder Carlene from Forward in Faith, Portmore, Jamaica. I would like to share my testimony about our father and his impact on my life.
Somebody say yeah. Somebody say bring up my mama. Oh oh. Respect to the maximum. Walk one in the house. Fire blaze. In Jamaica, we say I've got my mind made. <laughs> And I want to tell me Cause I want to see my Jesus Someday I've got my mind made And I want to tell me Cause I want to see my Jesus Someday Let me hear you sing and say
simuza cha unacho anda chisimuza cha unacho akana usati watanga kufara a usiku uchiri urefu simuza cha unacho a south africa lift up your flag simuza
very happy If you are happy <laughs> Why can't you greet the person next to you As we sing this song Abba Ne Abba
Mangwana Dizere Letes Tire How many are ready for latest? Yeah. What shall I say now? Nisha kumusira iporofita Pakati penyu Baba tesi ona Nisha kumusira iporofita Pakati penyu Isu tesi ona Nisha kumusira iporofita Pakati penyu Isu tesi ona Nisha kumusira iporofita Pakati penyu Isu tesi ona Nisha kumusira iporofita Pakati penyu Baba tinote 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 Baba tesi ona Tinote 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 Baba tesi ona Tati tinote 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 Baba tesi ona Mororo ne mori
coming back he's coming back with some more more music that we can dance along tonight thank you thank you very much pastor mavuramiti and your team thank you very much we want to welcome you all that are watching us from all over the world Thank you, we want to welcome you that are watching us from all over the world. We are here celebrating the life we were lived by a legend of our father, Ashbishop Professor Ezekiel Ahandinawa Mungoti, who for 75 years preached the undiluted gospel of Jesus Christ, making an impact in 168 nations and states. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. At this moment in time, we just want to be on our feet as we want to invite the Deputy Secretary General Apostle Dr. Steve Simukai to the Gospel Platform. Let's make some noise, let's make some noise, let's make some noise. You can do better than that. Let's make some noise. Let us make some joyful noise as we will Secretary General Dr. Steve Simukai, let's applause, let's applause as we leave all the time to him. Over to you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Please take your seats. This place is on fire. As we celebrate a man who was on fire. It is electrifying. Please take your seats. My task, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is to give our welcome remarks to our mother her grace archbishop professor yuna guti our archbishops from mozambique and south africa our executive chairman apostle joe and amai our secretary general apostle michelle Nyambo and Amai, Dr. Levin, all our bishops, apostles, overseers, pastors, elders, deacons, and the church at large. To the distinguished guests of honor, government officials, founders and leaders of churches, ministries, and organizations, Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to welcome you to day 28 of our 30 days of mourning, which have become 30 days of celebration. We are celebrating tonight the life of our father, the legend, the general, the pioneer, the great father of the faith. We are celebrating tonight a man who was holding the torch, leading the army of God throughout the world, preaching the gospel. Ladies and gentlemen, we are celebrating a mighty man of God tonight the one who told us that the almighty god can turn your morning into dancing tonight our morning has been turned into dancing as we celebrate the life of our father tonight we are gathered here we will have tributes we will have testimonies we will have songs as we celebrate a general of the faith ladies and gentlemen the games begin ladies and gentlemen it starts now until sunday we continue to celebrate can we make some noise all over this place 
Fear not. See not. Zioja forward in faith is marching on. The gates of hell will not, cannot, shall not prevail. Zioja is marching on. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, the DSG. Yes, indeed, we are celebrating tonight. I want you to make some noise wherever you are. Shout hallelujah! As I'm inviting the praise and worship back, the praise and worship, we are inviting the dance, inviting the praise and worship to come and sing for us. As we are excited tonight, I want you to jump wherever you are. Get excited! Get excited! Get excited! Get excited! Get excited tonight as we are celebrating. Praise and worship, praise and worship. Take, take it away, praise and worship. Just look at your neighbor and just say, I was a suspect. Hold your marks. Get set. Are you ready to celebrate? Hold your marks. Get set. Are you ready to celebrate? Hold your marks. Hold your marks. Get set. Are you ready to celebrate? Hold your marks. Hold your marks. Get set. Are you ready to celebrate? On your marks. On your marks. Get set. Are you ready?
She voice a church in Mudenga so. She voice somewhere in Jamudenga. She voice somewhere in Jamudenga. I can see the torches. I can see the torches. Where is Jamudenga? Where is Jamudenga? Where is your light? 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 Who do you want to do, sir? I can see the torches. So Everybody,
Você é o nosso Deus, é um bom Deus. Aleluia. Let's say we bless your holy name, oh Lord. Yes. Oh. suffering from malaria give me a hallelujah without malaria shout hallelujah do I have sons and daughters of the legend in here do I have sons and daughters of the legend in here I say do I have the sons and the daughters of the African Apostle the great men of God the master key come on the ark of God Shout hallelujah! Now, tonight, we are going to celebrate the African Apostle. I call him the Master Key. 
because he could unlock anything anywhere at any time tonight is our night as we take our seats we want to get into a special time the life of an individual is defined by the number of lives he has impacted the footprint of our father stretches across all continents from the least to the greatest from glenview to borodell the footprint of our father is there i want us now to get ready to enter into a time of hearing testimony from the book of history to listen to the story of this great servant of the lord i'm going to invite now pastor sibet and overseer farai let's make a joyful noise as we welcome them make a joyful noise wonderful 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 god is good and all the time indeed 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 we save a wonder working miracle god tonight we are going to have a special time it's a time of testimonies but the testimonies of today they are real showing us the life of our father when we say our father gave us god is it true and today we are going to witness what happened in the past and these people who are standing with me here they are a testimony of what we are going to be reading here of what happened in their lives and today we are going to start uh, the story I'm reading is on page number uh, 69 in the history book of Mrs. Lydia Misha. Uh, she's here. Mrs. Lydia Misha. Shall we put our hands together? During, during the anniversary time, we read the story. And we don't know whom we are reading about. But today we have brought here mrs lydia misha i am going to read what happened mrs lydia misha stayed for 10 years without a child to make the matters worse the doctors had confirmed to her that she was barren therefore it was not able for her to have children after receiving jesus as a personal savior she got prayed for and god of our father blessed her with a baby boy Hallelujah! Servants of God, today I, I actually have a miracle for us. The boy whom she was blessed with, her name is called Nyasha. And Nyasha is here. Nyasha is here. Wow, wow, wow. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Woo! I... I To me, to me, Nyasha is like Lazarus. He is a miracle himself. So I want to, I want to ask Nyasha just a simple question. Nyasha, what do you have to say about the God of Ezekiel? We read about you in the history book, and today we are here. People don't even know you. And what do you have to say about the God of Ezekiel? Hallelujah. Um... I just want to thank God of Ezekiel. Uh, he has been so good to me. If it wasn't me, Even in the Bible, they wanted to kill Lazarus. And here the system don't want to Nyasha to speak. Okay, I want to thank God for his echo. Uh, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been here. Uh, I'm a miracle. Uh, thank you to my father. Go, my father. We will continue to celebrate your life. Thank you. 
Shall we put hands together for Nyasha and your mother? Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, man. And uh, the second miracle, this one is not in the history book, but it's worth it to hear. Um, I'm going to go to the second miracle. Whew, God is good. God is good. Pastor James and Dolin Mtiswa were childless for 19 years uh, after their marriage. But after being prayed for by our father, the Archbishop E.H. Guti, they received their miracle. And now they have a son. Uh, they, they got a son on the 20th year of their marriage. Uh, God of Ezekiel is a miracle worker. God is faithful. What kept them going? They kept on holding to the words our father had told them. That keep believing my God will give you a child. And here is our pastor. Pastor, we just want you to tell the, the audience. What kept you going? I know you were a missionary. You were preaching the word of God for 20 years but without a child. You could have been discouraged. You could have stopped preaching. What kept you preaching even though you had such an issue in your life? Indeed, the Lord is faithful. What kept us going despite the challenge we were having mm. is because of the word which our father told us mm. that believe in the God of Ezekiel. Mm. Did you read the history book? Mm. Did you see the miracles of other women who were childless, who received uh, children? So our father was telling us that. And also we, we, we thank God that as they were praying for us, we continue to believe God that the same God who did miracles in this history book is the same God who was going to do for wow. us. We also thank God because of the word of God which our father taught us to believe in it as the Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 20. Believe ye in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe you in the prophet, and you shall prosper. Amen, amen, amen. Shall we give hand for our pastor? This, this is telling us that as we are sitting here, if all we can believe in the God of Ezekiel, miracles are still happening. Even tonight you can receive your miracle. And tonight on our list before we finish, we have another great man of God who received a miracle. If we read in the history book, we see a man who was healed from lunatic. Um, Pastor David Changachire, a teacher by profession, became mentally ill in 1981. The illness continued for over a year. During the course of his illness, he could see people who were coming with spears and swords and knives to kill him. His relatives took him to Zayoja and he was prayed for. One day he also saw Baba Guti praying for him in his dreams and God delivered him the same day. Few days after that miracle, God even gave him anointing to pray for other people who were mentally ill and they got delivered. And here is the man. Here is the man. Pastor David Changachirere. A man who was delivered by God. From a lunatic spirit. Shall we give praise to the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. I know we are filled with joy in our hearts. God is faithful. God is faithful. Pastor. I want, just want you to tell us as the audience um, what is people's reaction when they hear your testimony? How is your testimony helping people? We know the Bible says some things were done that God may be glorified. How, when you share your testimony, what happens in short? In fact, when I testify to other people that I was a lunatic and I was delivered. Some people would come and went to be prayed for. I was taken one day to a hospital 
where a, a woman was tied to the bed. Was, she was so violent. And when I prayed for her, she was delivered the same day. And he was, she was completely healed. Now, I, I, I thank the God of Ezekiel. When I was a lunatic, I was a teacher, as what is said in the, in the book. I stopped the teaching because of that. I could, I could not teach, I could not write even on the blackboard because of that. And that's why I left the teaching and I was taken to a crusade where I was prayed for. But the day I was delivered, I saw Baba Good. I had never seen him before. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's okay, Pastor. Yes. It's all right. So, he prayed for me. And I was healed completely. Amen, amen, amen. I thank amen. God. Amen. That's the power of the God of Ezekiel. The God of our Father. The God of our Father. We are not here for nothing. We are here for a true God. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are seeing wonders that our Father did. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, as we are saying, we are celebrating the preaching of our Father. 75 years preaching the undiluted gospel of Jesus Christ. Reaching, impacting 168 nations and states. I'm calling upon uh, Pastor Johnson Pastor Johnson to come and give us a testimony and he will give us a song that is a tribute. Over to you, sir. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to respect this, the seniors and all protocol observe. And uh, above all, my mother, the Archbishop, uh, Professor Yuna Guti. I love you so much, Mama. Uh, the year 2011, I was in Canada, Toronto during, uh, doing theology and uh, all of a sudden, my name was called. I was in the, a Bible school called World Impact Bible Institute. And Baba and Amai, they went to Canada uh, to do uh, a conference. And uh, my name was called. So I went into the hotel room where they were. Mama was at the corner.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the honor. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank the Lord so much for this honor. My name is Pastor Petros Dope, representing the Children's Ministries International. Um, thank you so much. I want to respect our mother, uh, Professor Yuna Guti, and the First Family, and all protocol is observed. We want to thank our father and our mother for the well-lived life that our father lived as a ministry. As child evangelism ministry from the beginning, in 1960, on the 12th of May, our ministry was one of the ministries that had great numbers that were attending. History tells us that even in Highfield, when other members would not come for church, the classes would be full of children. The lives of children were impacted by the life of our father through his teachings and his encouragement and his support for the children's ministry. He is, he was, he shall be a rare gift to our lives and to those who will follow us. We were so privileged to have seen our father alive. Other generation will hear about him, but we want to thank God. Together with our mother, they have stood with us as a ministry. We have seen the creation or the coming up of the young generation ministry that caters for the young people. And our father would always say, we need to groom the future leaders from the young people. We want to thank our father. His heart was always for the children and he will always be for us. We want to thank our father and our mother together, even for the kingdom music and dance. We have seen how that ministry or that department has impacted the lives of children. Together, we can agree that we have children who have done so well through the kingdom music and dance. It was all because of this rare gift, our father, the seventh apostle of God. Not only that, our father and our mother, they have taken care of the less privileged, starting from their house when they were in Marimba, and when they also moved to Mutare, they could share food to over 30 plates at a meal taking care of the less privileged until a children's home was established in Mutare. The first children's house that we used was given by our father and our mother until a proper property was bought. We want to thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mama, for the great work that you did. To date, I can give you testimony that over 400 children have passed through our children's home in Mutare. We thank God for this great work. The man that you see here, our father has served me. I am what I am because of what this man has done. The Ministry of Child Evangelism will continue and we say the name of the God of Ezekiel will continue to be raised amongst the children's ministry. Long live Ezekiel. Long live our father. Long live the man of God. Long live the servant of God. Long live the father of fathers. Long live the mentor. Long live the servant of the most high God. We salute you, our father. Forever we will remember you. Together with our mother, I thank you. God bless you. Can, can the owner of this vehicle, a Toyota Hilux G996, go and attend to your vehicle? Toyota Hilux G996, please go and attend to your vehicle immediately. Thank you.
all protocol observed. Um, uh, thank you so much. I just want to appreciate uh, our father and our mother for this opportunity to uh, to be able to share with you, servants of God, just a quick run through of uh, our appreciation and the impact that uh, the Apostle and servant of God made in the lives of many people. Uh, my name is uh, Pastor Hilary Nyakuchka. I'm the International Farm Director. I'm just going to, to share with you just some few things uh, pertaining the impact that our father made upon the families around the globe. Uh, the Families Builder Ministry uh, is a ministry that, uh, that was based on the 24th of May uh, 2006. Uh, our father says uh, when, he was, uh, when the ministry was launched, uh, we were busy preaching to people. We were bringing many souls to the Lord, but our families were dying. So God spoke to him to start this ministry for the purpose of building families in our church for Zayoja Forward in Faith members. Uh, so this ministry, its purpose is to build families. Uh, we want to thank God so much. Uh, many families have been helped through this ministry. Uh, there's been a lot of impact that has been made wherever Forward in Faith is. But uh, the challenge that has been there over the years was that in, in some places, some people are not conscious of the, uh, the purpose of this ministry. What we want to appreciate God for, uh, because of our father and also our mother, is that they gave us an example of how to raise a family. Uh, actually, our father writes in, uh, in the book that he wrote, A Wise Man. He writes about a wise man and his family. And in this uh, book, he, he says, uh, God started... Uh, with, with a family, with a man. A man has to first of all be able to run a family before he can be able to run the church of God. Uh, so we, we see that uh, this ministry, its purpose is to be able to give teachings, uh, progressive family teachings, and then be able also to, to give counseling uh, wherever it is. So we want to just say, uh, we want to appreciate even our father and our mother also, uh, because when uh, we, we, we always, our father would always say, my children are in ministry, all of them. It is because they gave us an example of how to raise a family, and, and they are an example that we can emulate, and we want to appreciate. So we want to say to, uh, to you, our mother, we really want to appreciate, we, we have seen your example together as we stood with our father, and today, we really want to thank you and thank God for the time that our father was with us and the impact that he made, which will remain in our lives. We want to thank God so much. Thank you very much. Good night. observed. My name is Mary Kaweka for dressmaking schools. Dressmaking schools was established in 1980 by the servant and apostle of God, Professor E.H. Guti and Dr. Yuna Guti as a way of one, number one, equipping the saints of Sayoja forward in faith and local community with the skills that help them to establish their own business. And there are businesses. People are, have got many business about sowing. Preaching the gospel 
of Jesus Christ to the local community. Therefore, dressmaking schools are so winning tools. This means that wherever these schools are established, they should be time to preach the gospel to the students 30 minutes once every week. So of those who repented, some are now leaders of this church. Students should not be given skills of professional education only, but should also be taught to have a personal relationship with Christ. We now have 75 operational dressmaking schools in Zimbabwe. Baba said, Baba said, schools must go where the people are. And over 10,000 graduates from the dressmaking schools, we kindly ask you to read New African Apostle, page 58, page 87 and page 167 and hear what Baba said about the schools. People are surviving, getting their life easy because of sowing. If you see me here, what I am, it's because of sowing. Thank you, Baba and Amai. We pledge that we will carry on with the teachings you taught us. May God bless you. to the Lord lift your hands to the Lord Africa 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 lift your hands to the Lord lift your hands to the Lord Africa Wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, as the music ministry, we are so grateful uh, for our father, Professor E.H. Guti, for this ministry. The music ministry is uh, uh, the earliest of all the ministries that we have today. The history book of Zayoja Forward in Faith and the African Apostle, and the New African Apostle, these books, they record that when Handina Wango went to seek the Lord in 1938, before you heard the voice which said, fear not, sin not, what he first heard was thick music in the air. So, from the beginning, when God appeared to him, 
music has always been very important in the life and ministry of Apostle Professor E.H. Kuti. This is why today we know of many songs that he used to sing, including the one we have just uh, sung. Music ministry is the ministry that drives the church. According to our rules and policy, in every service, every Sunday service, praise and worship is mandatory. It is mandatory. And it says we can have a service without preaching but with the only singing thank you thank you thank you we are very much indebted to our father and we are grateful for the books that he wrote for our ministry we are grateful for the book pathway to praise and worship we are grateful for the book principles of the doctrine of christ we are grateful for information about the music ministry also found in the new african apostle where he talks about the vision of choirs singing in uniforms competing and being given prizes and awards we are grateful for the book Precious Things, where Baba talks about the purpose of music in the church. And we are grateful for information about praise and worship in the book Small Groups Home Bible Study. Now, tonight we celebrate our Father as the music ministry as we seek to raise the standard of music in the church for soul winning edification of the church thank you so much we are grateful to our father we are grateful thank you coming down, down. we are so excited with the music ministry and ladies and gentlemen how many of us agree with me that we want them to sing a bit so that we can shake 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 so that we can dance 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 yes make some noise make some noise if you want them praise and worship the music ministry please give us a song that we can dance and we can shake and we can enjoy and celebrate a life well lived by a legend our father ash bishop Professor E.H. Goody, let us, let us check, let us check, put on your dancing shoes as we calling upon the music ministry to take it away. Over to you. Somebody make some noise for Jesus.
Let me see those who are saying one more. Uh, I cannot hear you. Those who are saying one more. Uh, you, I cannot hear you. You go and sit down. Uh, one more. As we get into this one more, we are going to have the worship team singing Gary and the Vangeri. Are you ready over there? Yeah. Children of Ezekiel Kuti, are you ready? As soon as they are finishing singing this song, we are going to invite Senior Pastor Msigwa to come to the pulpit, a representative of our missions office, as he is going to speak about the footprint of our father across the borders. Somebody shouting, Gary and Evangeli! Isikiri waka tumanda Isikiri waka tumanda of that fire of the gospel of Jesus Christ that the apostle spread in this world. Um, I want to salute mama. I salute you mom. I will end up at saying mom because your children the world over are here. I also want to respect the neck who is here and all protocol observed. Indeed, on behalf of Apostle Steve Simkai, 
who is the apostle responsible for missions, and our director, Dr. Dr. Stiaricha, who is the director of missions. I stand here even on behalf of the missions board to say Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 and 20 was literally fulfilled by our father. Literally. It's not a case of reading that, that scripture that says go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe the command, my commandment, that which I have commanded you. We have seen the Apostle, Professor Ezekiel Guti, our father, fulfilling that literally. I am very comfortable to say, according to the United Nations, we have about 192 nations of the world. And Baba got with the gospel of Jesus Christ into 169 nations of the world. I know, I know you are wondering, we know 168. When Baba had sent me and my wife to Hungary, we went, he sent us to Slovakia. It was only two weeks when the new church in Slovakia was established and our father said goodbye. That's the 169th one, which is not yet documented. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I therefore, I have four, four children of Baba Gote from outside Zimbabwe. Tonight we only have four, but otherwise the world is here tonight. I will first of all give time to Baba's daughter from Peru, Pastor Palomina Rudo from Peru. Thank you. Let me say it once. Let me introduce them once. I will introduce them at once. After, after Pastor Rudo, we will have uh, uh, Ovasia Kisuka from Kinshasa DRC. Then we will have Bishop Sowoni from Sierra Leone. And finally, we will have the couple pastors Daniel Collins all the way from Samoa. Maneru Munu Ramuari Dino Fara Rakanyanya Pano uh, My name is Carmen Palomino Torres from Peru Cure, cure Mufundisi Rudo here in Harare. So when I met to our father, Isikel Andina Wangu Budi, when I met him in Argentina, he told me, sing no, fear not. <laughs> ba 
Abasit Usachka Usatatsa. Jesus. Jesus. So, so before I met Baba Guti in Argentina, so I was living in sin. The devil take me from, for many years, I used to drink alcohol, I used to commit adultery for years, and fornication too, and other, other things too. So, when I met Baba Guti, his wet say, sing no, fear not, so, I, I put um, my, 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 my heart on this weight and say, I am the, son, the daughter of Baba Guti, so I must follow him. I must do what Baba Guti say. Usachka, usatatsa. I love you, as Baba Guti love me. Dino kudai. Mwari akukomborerei. Kisuka from DRC Kinshasa. The man you are seeing here has a background of a soldier in the army from Mobutu's time. But I didn't know that there is a man who was praying long back. If you open the book Baba wrote, the African Apostle and the history of Zayoja, in 1975, he was praying even for the soldiers to come in this ministry. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I, am. I am the answer. I am the answer of the prayer of the man of God. Thank you, Mama. And this ministry started in DRC when the war was there. We started with some soldiers in 1998 when the Zim soldiers came to help us in DRC. That is where we started this ministry. Then Baba sent a team of five people to come and confirm if really the church can be established. I know among them, the Deputy Secretary General, our uh, Baba Dr. Simukai was among them. And then they confirmed that the church can be established. After then, Baba sent a missionary, a couple missionaries to come and groom us. Here I am, one of them who was groomed in this ministry. The RC Ararama. The RC Ararama. The RC Ararama. Us. He has given us a true God. Never forget this God, and we say, Congo, DRC, is going forward. Is going forward. Is going forward. We are going to make it. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord.
My name is Bishop Moses Benjamin Soli from Syria. I met our father, Professor E.H. Guti, in the year 2000. Um, from the day I encountered the servant of God, my life never remained the same again. When we met our father for the first time from West Africa, we were so many that came into this church from West Africa. But today we are just few. Our father is our father was a loving father. What kept most of us going in this ministry, in forwarding faith, is the love, the care, and the concern of our father. He was always concerned about us. He always wanted to know about us. Even when uh, away from Zimbabwe, he was always in touch with us. I can say that I am privileged to be in a generation that saw the servant of God face to face. I am privileged to be one of those that we tell the story tomorrow that I met the servant of God. I shook hands with the servant of God. He laid hands on me and he ordained me into the office that I'm operating today. I want to say, because of this love we have received from our father, even in death, Baba Guti, I promise I have been in this church for 23 years. I will be in this church forever. I will stay in this church forever. I remember when Baba sent me to Ghana as a missionary. It was not easy. It got to a time I said to my father when he came to West Africa, I said, Baba, I don't want to work in Ghana as a missionary. I, I, the people are not good to me. And Baba said, okay, I am going to other nations in West Africa. When I come back to Ghana, I will send you back to Sierra Leone. And that was a promise. I packed my baggage, my luggage, my suitcases were packed waiting to go back to Sierra Leone. When Baba came, I met him in the hotel room and he spoke to me. He prayed for me. I thought Baba was sending me back to Sierra Leone. He said, you are going nowhere. You are going to stay here in Ghana. You are a missionary. Learn the language of the people. Learn to work with the people. Learn to love the people. And I stayed in Ghana for 10 years as a missionary. And from the prayers of our father, from the counsel of our father, from the advices my father was giving to me, when I was leaving Ghana 2012, the people didn't want me to go. I enjoyed so much. I enjoyed the love of the people of Ghana. I was in error because I didn't understand anything. But when Baba spoke to me, I began to work with the people. Baba, I want to promise you, I will stay in forward in faith. I am in this ministry forever and ever. I don't care what happened. I am a forwarder. I will, re re 
I will remain a forwarder and I will serve in this ministry. Thank you for giving me a big God. Thank you for, for the teachings we have received from you. And I promise we will continue in the path that you have created for us. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. We bring greetings from Samoa, American Samoa. And this time, we are coming from New Zealand. Uh, what a privilege to be here to celebrate the life of the legend. And I want to say, uh, Psalm uh, 78, verse 72, the Word of God says, He shepherded them according to the integrity of his heart. And he guided them with the skillfulness of his hand. So I want to say Ezekiel shepherded us according to the integrity of his heart. And he guided us with the skillfulness of his hand. There are many great men of God who are skillful but don't have a heart of integrity. There are many great men of God who are good at heart but don't have the skills. But I want to say tonight, this legend that we are gathered here to celebrate his life, he ticked all the boxes. And I want to say that my life, my family, all my people from Samoa, they have seen the change in my life. When I first met Baba uh, in uh, 2013, our first day coming from Samoa to go to Amphic, his first word to us, he said to us, go to Amphic, catch the fire, and take it home. And his last words, amen. <laughs> and his last words, when we finished Amphic, about to go home, he said to us, when you go home, don't preach to your people. Just love them. <laughs> amen. And I want to say tonight, that my life has never been the same. Many a times when we embarked in a journey coming here, uh, coming home, many a times people ask us, what is the secret of going to that nation? And I said, you know what? That where lives has been transformed. That where cold has been digged. If you want to see cold, go to Zimbabwe. So I'm here tonight to declare that I found treasure I found gold in this ministry and my life would never be the same. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 As my husband was saying, when we met Baba the first time we came to Amthik, he, was, he said to us, catch the fire and take it home. Catch the fire and take it home. But you know what? Before that fire, before we took that fire home, that fire impacted our lives here in Amphic Bible School. You know what? When we came to Bible School, my husband was a Mike Tyson to me. He used to beat me. He used to fist fight me. Yeah? He was my Mike Tyson at that time. But when I came, when we came and we were taught that the secret that our father gave to us, he said, imitate me as I imitate Christ. Imitate me as I imitate Christ. When you imitate Jesus Christ, you activate the power of Jesus Christ. You activate the power of Jesus Christ. If you are here and your marriage is not good, I'm saying to you, imitate Jesus Christ. Imitate Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, I want you to know today that the seed started right here in Zimbabwe. 
from Africa, ladies and gentlemen. Now it has penetrated 168 nations and states. Oh, I want you to give it up. I want you to make some noise. 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 Make some noise tonight. Make some noise tonight. Make some noise tonight. Yes, indeed, we are so excited celebrating a life well lived by a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, I want us to be on our feet as I invite the Deputy Secretary General, Apostle Dr. Steve Simukai to the podium. Let's clap our hands as we leave this time. Please, please. Please take your seats. Uh, please take your seats. The Apostle Paul said, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Our Father is now with his Master. He is now with the Lord Jesus Christ. I, I believe that because of his stature and the expanse of the work, I think he struggled the same way the Apostle Paul struggled when he said, I am straight betwixt two, whether to be here with you, which is uh, beneficial, or to be with the Lord, which is even better. Uh, so our Father is with the Lord. We are excited about that. And since you did a great work, we can then say, long live the legacy of our Father. It is the legacy of our Father that we say, long live. It must continue. Thank you. Uh, then as we uh, move on, on my team here requested me to introduce the next item. Um, it is befitting that just after hearing the testimonies from uh, Samoa, the DRC, um, Sierra Leone and other places that we would have a video presentation. It's very compact but it captures um, in a few minutes, it captures what our Father has done. In the words of the Apostle Paul, in Romans chapter 15, verse 19, where he says, For I dare not speak of things that Christ has not done through me. And he continues to say, That from Jerusalem to round about Elycrium, I have fully preached the gospel with signs and wonders. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see how our Father has fully preached the gospel around the world. We used to call him the African Apostle, but I dare differ today. He is not only the African Apostle, he is a global Apostle, and that's what we are going to see. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have the video? Thank you.
When Jesus described the kingdom of God in Luke 13, verse 18 and 19, he described it as a mustard seed, which a man took and put in his garden, and it grew and became a large tree. It is no coincidence that when God wanted to extend his kingdom further, he chose to start a movement under another tree as well. On the 12th of May, 1960, in Bindura under a gum tree, Zayoja Ford in Faith was founded. This ministry would grow like a tree to give rest and shade to all those who are weary and heavily laden through the proclamation of the gospel of Jesus Christ, followed by signs, miracles, and wonders all over the world with branches reaching the continents of Asia, Australia, Europe, North and South America, Central America, the Middle East, the Caribbean Islands, the Oceania Islands, and of course, Africa. Africa, lift your hands to our God, lift your hands to our God, Africa, Africa, lift your hands to our God, lift your hands to our God, lift your hands to our God. Africa! Africa! Lift your hands to our God! Lift your hands to our God! Lift your hands to our God! This branching out of the church to other nations fulfilled the prophecy in the Bible in the book of Psalms 68 from verse 31 through 35 that the gospel will come out of Africa. Psalm 68 verse 31 and 32 says, Envoys will come out of Egypt. Ethiopia will quickly stretch out her hands to God. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. Oh, sing praises to the Lord. Selah. This video presentation is a brief overview of the accomplishments that Archbishop Ezekiel Guti's burden and obedience to win souls to the kingdom of God. In Africa alone, the seed of the kingdom of God has spread to 52 countries, empowering the people of God through schools, hospitals, orphanages, among many other vehicles of ministry, like in Liberia, for example. Or in South Africa, the home of Ezekiel TV, which pioneered gospel televangelism indigenous to Africa with a state-of-the-art national center and Bible school. In Australia, there are eight territories that have now been affected by the power of God through his servant, boasting a national center in Sydney. And in New Zealand. All in all, Oceania boasts of having churches in 16 island nations. There are 12 countries with this seed germinating for souls to find a rest in the salvation of the Lord. Let's give glory to God. In the Caribbean islands and Central America, there are a combined 12 countries and a national center in Belize which was once an abandoned building that God had promised his servant. In Europe, there are 23 countries that have been affected with the national center in Birmingham. North America and Canada, the United States combines for 32 states and two national centers, one in Edmonton in Canada, and one in Dallas, Texas in America.
All of these centers worth millions are 100% debt free and were purchased with cash through the working of talents. Glory to God. The Middle East and South America boast of 13 countries. From Bandura to Bangladesh, Harare to Hungary, these are but a few of the achievements that Apostle Ezekiel's willingness and obedience has led to. The legacy of his impact will continue through the fruits that the tree of the kingdom of God has borne. Now let's listen to our mother as she explains the burden and how the vision lives on. Uh, UK, God told him to go and prepare uh, by planting a church so that the he said my children will be leaving Zimbabwe to come here and so I don't want them to get lost you go and prepare for them that's how he went to UK that time there were not many Zimbabweans it was just the family of the summer so and uh, 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 Pastor Beg, Beck and her daughters um, th th those were the people who were there. In other nations, uh, it was a drive to win souls. God would direct him to go and win souls. Plan that's how he planted churches. Everywhere where he went, God sent him to go and bring the kingdom of God to the people so that they uh, the total man is dealt with inside and outside thus, thus salvation and raising up the standard of the people from poverty to prosperity. Uh, this is what has been happening uh, everywhere where he went. And uh, th th that's what I can tell you. The, the burden for souls to know the Lord Jesus Christ and not only just to know the Lord Jesus Christ, but to walk in the kingdom of God. He, he went preaching the kingdom of God, walk in the kingdom of God, worshiping God, being in the kingdom of God, enjoying the kingdom of God, and not poverty. This is what led him to go into all those nations and the lives of the people were changed the salvation and the life as a whole changed because of the gospel of the kingdom that he went preaching and this is what we also need to do to continue to preach the kingdom of god hallelujah which is it's not eating or drinking but righteousness peace and joy in the holy spirit thank you god bless you Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a standing ovation for the greatest missionary of all time? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You you and I are honored of God to have seen him with our eyes. To have heard him speak directly with our ears. One more time, let's put our hands together for our Father. For our Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on this special occasion, 
We are about to hear the word of God. Our father would say, I eat Jesus every day, referring to the word of God. And we are blessed tonight that the man who is going to come and speak to us is a son of our father. Not only is he a natural or biological son, but he is a spiritual son. A man who sat on the feet of our father, traveled thousands of miles to come and sit on the feet of our father, learning from the greatest teacher of all time. He did, was not only trained by our father, but he pastored in forward in faith in Zimbabwe. Not only did he pastor in Zimbabwe, he also pastored in Forward in Faith in the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and singular uh, privilege to introduce to you a passionate teacher, a disciple of our Father. Why can't we put our hands together as we welcome our dear pastor, Pastor Paul Arthurs, as he's going coming. Put your hands together. Oh, yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you may be seated. Well, if you don't know the American Shona Man, you need to ask somebody. We are so excited to be here to celebrate uh, the man that Dr. Miles Monroe referred to as the greatest apostle alive. And we are privileged to have sat at his feet. I'm not going to take much time, but it's appropriate that we open up the Word of God. And so I'm going to do what the young people do, and I'm going to open up the Word of God from my phone. Is that all right? Join me in Mark chapter 13. Mark chapter 13. And we certainly want to uh, recognize all of our leaders, especially uh, our Archbishop, our mother, and all of the other dignitaries and titles. We respect you, we honor you, uh, we honor the big three, and all of the bishops and overseers and everybody that I'm missing right now, I honor you. I am certainly excited and uh, honored to ask the finest woman in the house right now. You know who you are. I just need you to stand up and wave because you're all that. That's Fiona. Pastor Fiona, my wife. And right now she is praying in the Holy Ghost for her husband. And from uh, Chicago, I'm very excited to have my sister and my brother-in-law, Pastor Sharon and Pastor James. They pastor a, a magnificent, a wonderful church in Chicago, and they're here. Pastor James is here for the very first time in Zimbabwe. You know, I, you know Farah Kuchinga means a Pastor James. Zimbabwe. Stand up. Musumuke, Pastor James. Amen. So let's get into the word of God. All right, thank you. I realize I must slow down. Speed. <laughs> Mark chapter 13. Mark chapter 13. Then as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Teacher, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here. 
And Jesus answered and said to him, Do you not see these great buildings? Not one stone shall be left upon another that shall not be thrown down. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Tinamata. Heavenly Father, we receive your word and we are changed by the power of your word today, tonight, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. While we are in this moment, I am reminded of kingdom legacy. Our father, he would always tell his preachers to preach the kingdom of God. And our father, he did not just preach the kingdom, but he lived kingdom. The kingdom is the king's domain. Kingdom Mambo. It is the domain, the authority, the realm of the king. Waro Mambo. So Jesus says, repent for the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven has arrived. Here we see Jesus at the end of his ministry. Jesus is walking with his disciples. And as they're walking, they see these magnificent buildings. These buildings were spectacular. They were amazing to look upon. And as the Disciples were admiring all these buildings. These, these were buildings that King Herod had built. They referred to him as Herod the Great. They referred to him as Herod the Great because of the great building. He was a master builder for the Roman Empire. And so Jesus refers to these buildings which represented a monument to the legacy of Herod and all of his greatness. He said these buildings are going to fall. This building which represented the legacy. A legacy is something that is passed down. A legacy is never for the individual. A legacy has to be passed down if it's going to be a legacy. Our father, Baba Vedu, he didn't go to be with the Lord without leaving a legacy. There are some men who die and they leave nothing for their family. They have to suffer in poverty. They don't have an inheritance. But the Bible says, a good man leaves an inheritance. Ford in faith, Zioja, I want you to know tonight that you have been left a legacy. There is something that has been passed down and entrusted to you by your father. Jesus said, these stones 
are going to come down. You see, only what is built for Christ will last. If you build your life upon pleasure, if you build your life upon doing what you want, that will crash. The Bible says that if anyone hears the word and does not do it, it's like a person who built a house on sand. And as soon as the storm came, everything comes crumbling down. Jesus said, every stone is going to come crumbling down. Those of you who are Bible scholars know that in 70 AD there was a man by the name of Titus who destroyed the temple of Jerusalem. And as Jesus prophesied everything came down and the legacy of Herod would be no more. But the Bible says there are some things that can be built that will last. One thing I appreciate about our Father is that He would often disrupt. He would often disrupt some things that needed to come down. Whenever we preach the kingdom of God, there are some things that are going to come down. God gave a word to a man by the name of Gideon that he would be a great champion. But before he would win a, a, a war against the Midianites, God comes back and tells Gideon to tear down the altar of Baal. I want you to hear me tonight. Jesus said, there are some things that are going to be thrown down. Sometimes, I was not comfortable around our father. Uh, because when you're around him, the temperature would get very hot. And he would see me and he would begin to point out areas in my life. Point out things in my character that needed to come down. He saw some structures in my life that if they remained there, they would destroy me. Some of you tonight, there are some structures, there are some things that have been built in your life. But tonight, we preach the kingdom of God not in word only, but in demonstration. Tonight, I have an assignment to preach the kingdom of God and when the kingdom of God is preached something must be disrupted. The word that our father preached is not designed to leave you the same. You can't walk away and be the same after receiving the message of the kingdom. Jesus said from the days of John the Baptist until this present time the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. The enemy also likes to build. He wants to build strongholds. Some strongholds are generational strongholds. There are some things that you've received from your grandfather that is in you. It's a stronghold. It's a stronghold. But Jesus said concerning these things, 
that have been built in your life that not one stone is to be left upon another. There are some strongholds of sickness. There are some strongholds of sin. Everyone in your your family gets divorced. Everyone in your family dies young. It's a stronghold. But the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are are mighty they're not carnal but they are mighty to pull down these strongholds notice in your bible that Jesus said those stones were going to stay there until they were thrown down There are some things that are going to remain in your life until they are strong down. There are some demons that will occupy your life until one stronger comes to kick that devil out. If you're living in sin, if you're living oppressed, if you're living in defeat, if you're living without hope, if you feel that you cannot change if if you feel that you cannot break free today God's rule God's reign God's authority is established in your life and when God's kingdom is established any alternative kingdom must be overthrown there's a decision you have to make to repent and to receive God's kingdom to recognize that God is stronger than those strongholds that have been formed against you we want to give you the opportunity Because tonight, I'm here to remind you that God is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. And he is the God of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is the God of Ezekiel that presented you the gospel. That God is alive. He's alive and well. And the kingdom of God is come in demonstration so tonight if you've come to the place where you are done with the strongholds that have left you in defeat you are done with the strongholds that have left you without hope where your life is controlled by sin I want to invite you to Jesus I want to invite you to Jesus because if you want Jesus there is no devil there is no family curse there is no sin there is no sickness that can stop you because the kingdom of God cannot be stopped all you and I have to do is respond tonight So tonight, God has given you the opportunity to have a legacy like our Father that you can leave, that you can have a testimony. And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Tonight, if you want to see the disruption that the kingdom of God brings I want us to all focus 
on what God did in demonstrating his love for us through the person of his son. And whoever believes shall not perish but have everlasting life. So what I'm going to ask us all to do right now I just want you to stand to your feet. Thank you Jesus. Our God is a very good God. And he's not willing for you to perish. God does not want you to live in defeat. God wants you to be free. And I want to respect all of the protocol and all the systems that are in place. But I believe that you're not here by accident. And there are some things that have been built through sin, through disobedience, through rebellion that need to come down. The only way they can come down is through the power of repentance. The, the power of the blood of Jesus is the only thing that can save you. And in order to receive God's salvation, you have to repent. Tonight, if you want Christ in your life, if you want the assurance that your sins are forgiven, if the Holy Spirit right now is making you feel uncomfortable, that's a good thing. Because until you are uncomfortable, you will never repent. No one can come to God unless the Holy Spirit draws them. So the Holy Spirit right now, on the occasion in which we're celebrating our Father, is drawing you. I want you without thinking what anybody else says. Anyone who gets saved doesn't care. Anyone who makes Jesus the Lord of the life no longer cares about people. If the God of our Father is speaking to you right now and telling you that you need to repent, I want you to obey God right away by lifting up your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Lift that hand up high. Without caring what anybody, lift that hand up high right now. God is drawing you all over the place. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Those of you who raise your hand, I'm going to ask you right now to take the boldest step to transform your destiny. I want you to step out if you raise your hand. And we're going to pray with you. And as we pray with you, God is going to honor your faith. And Jesus Christ is going to come in. And today is the beginning of a new day. Those of you who raise your hand in the balcony, God brought me all the way from America. America on this occasion because he loves you so much God loves you so much that he's disrupting what the enemy wants to do I want you to come forward those come come you raise your hand you raise your heart come on thank you Jesus hallelujah they're coming come on come on I need our workers to come help me just come hallelujah they're coming Come, come, give God praise. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Your praise disrupts the enemy. Hallelujah. Your praise disrupts the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on. Today is your day. Today is your day. God loves you. They're coming, they're coming. We're waiting for you. Come. Thank you. Come on, rejoice. Heaven is rejoicing. Rejoice, 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 rejoice. Rejoice. Thank you, Jesus. They're coming. We're waiting on you. 
Today is the day that God comes in. Anyone else come? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Is there anyone else? The Holy Spirit is convicting you right now. You better move. 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 Hallelujah. Don't wait. Don't wait. Backslider. Backslider. You've drifted from God. You used to be serving God, but now you're living for the devil. The Holy Spirit is convicting you. Come, come, come. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, I need some worshipers in the house. I need some praisers in the house. I need someone to give God glory. Death is swallowed up in victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory. Come on. And give God praise. Hallelujah. You better get excited about souls. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, Ashes. Help them to come. Help them to come. Let them come. Thank you, Jesus. Let them come. Come, come, 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 come. Come, our father said this is the number one job from terraces then number nine number ten can you come down please come down all over come down help them to come help them to come C clap your hands church they are coming clap your hands church they are coming they are coming they are coming they are coming clap your hands is falling the legacy of Shikwambo is falling the legacy of Gozi is falling the legacy of, of poverty is falling clap your hands church they are coming they are coming they are coming ashes tell us how many people are coming church clap your hands clap your hands clap your hands church clap your hands church they are coming they are coming can you tell us how many there are on this side and how many on that side? On this night that we are celebrating our Father, you are blessed to receive Jesus on this day. You are blessed to meet the Master on this day. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God. On this side. How about the... 57 where is number 58 and 59 and 60 clap your hands church they are coming where is number 59 number 60 on this side there are 21 21 on this side uh, and this side Th 65 on this side and 21 on this side that makes it what 86 come on church uh, we, we need hundred we need hundred we need hundred hundred people tonight must give their lives to the Lord tonight 100 people oh come on church you are there he's talking to you you are there he's talking to you oh come on help them help them help them to receive come 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 hallelujah 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 do we still have them in the terraces there are you there are you there i can see another one coming there another one coming clap your hands church we are not in a hurry when you do this someone else raise your hand wherever you are raise your hand wherever you are raise your hand we will see your hand we will see your hand and God will see your heart. How many are we there? 23 this side. 23 this side. Uh, how about this side? Evangelist Mzambiwa. 
How many? Okay. Okay. Can you come? 37 and Okay. 70 combined. Can, would you like to come in and and lead them to receive Christ, evangelist? Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Evangelist Mutsambiwa here will lead you to receive the Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Daddy. Let's clap our hands, church, for what has happened here. Praise this the is Lord. the work that our Father has been doing all the years. This is what our Father has been doing for all the years. Ladies and gentlemen, let's clap our hands. Let's clap our hands. Let's congratulate them. Let's congratulate them. Let's welcome them. Let's welcome them. Let's welcome them. Now, as they are here, as they are being ushered by the Holy Spirit in the kingdom of God, according to the word of God, John chapter 1 verse number 12, John chapter but to all who receive him, he gave them power to become children of God. Those that are born not by the will of the flesh, not by the will of men, but the, by the will of God. So as I'm going to be helping you, ladies and gentlemen, all of you who have come to the front, you are doing a right thing. The prayer of receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. So I will ask you to lift up your hands. Church of God, we can help them to lift up their hands as we will help them to pray this first prayer of being ushered in the kingdom of God. So as I'm going to be helping you, you open up your mouth and you pray this prayer with me. As you close up your eyes, say Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I have heard your word and I'm convicted in my heart that I'm a sinner. I need Jesus to save me. Lord Jesus, I open up my heart and I welcome you in my heart. I believe that you are the son of God you died for me that I can be saved today I welcome you Lord Jesus in my heart to be Lord and Savior of my life from today I will save you with all my life in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah 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 let's clap our hands to Jesus and let's clap our hands to Jesus for our brothers and sisters who have been ushered into the kingdom of God now if you turn around wherever you are I believe we have about 70 people so we need 70 ushers who can be with you over there pastors and de pastors and elders please can you come so before they go i will pray a mass prayer to bless you now let's all bow down our heads father we thank you tonight we give you glory for your word that have changed our lives thank you for your servant that you gave to us lord and we are gathered here to celebrate him and father we thank you that as we celebrate his life father god you have ushered this your people unto the kingdom of god we receive the anointing of the holy spirit together with them 
in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you Father God we bless you for what you have done tonight for changing these people's lives and transforming them to your glory in Jesus name I pray amen and amen hallelujah pastors pastors and elders those that are here please look around there they are showing you where to go those that are this side you are going this way those that are this side ushers please can you help them yes you elders and follow pastors follow the ushers this side lady to lady men to men pastors can you come please make sure you don't just go without receiving counseling that you are going to receive don't go without receiving counseling let's help them to go where they are supposed to go church let's clap our hands once more hallelujah hallelujah let's bless the lord let's clap our hands to jesus glory to god i'll give back the time to the mc more lady counselors more lady counselors pastors pastors help us Mm -hmm. oh, all right. More lady counselors, please, pastors, can you come? Thank you. Uh, our father was a great evangelist. In his meetings, people were healed and delivered. We are going to spend the next few minutes before we proceed praying for the sick. We have evangelists uh, who are among us. Oh, 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 all our evangelists, evangelist George, evangelist Msambiwa, evangelist Atoria, all our evangelists, you can come. Let's pray for the people quickly. Those who are sick, come forward. You will be prayed for quickly. You will be prayed for quickly. Come quickly. Don't go back home the same. Are you there? And you are sick and you are tired of the sickness come quickly for this reason the son of god was manifested to destroy the works of the devil if you are there if you are sick you don't have to think twice come quickly if you have to think twice you are not sick if you are there come quickly Come quickly. Those suffering, tormented by demons, deliverance is here for you tonight. Evangelist uh, Tiger, uh, uh, our evangelist from South Africa, lo 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 local evangelist Mtize, Mtize. Mutizgwa, all of those come quickly they will pray for you the people evangelist mavunga come 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 let's pray for the people this is the main reason jesus came all our evangelists let's pray for the people quickly 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 evangelist piri all right the, the team you can see as we pray for the people um and of course you owners of the program once we are done you continue <laughs> Where 
than he Lean waters flow When than he Lean waters flow When than he Lean waters flow When than he Lean waters When than he when the healing waters flow, when the healing, when the healing waters flow.
Kwanda stars Takula fluid Kwanda stars Takula fluid Kwanda stars Takula fluid Kwanda stars Takula fluid can prevent us from making a joyful noise celebrating such a great harvest of souls as we celebrate the great evangelist God has given us a great harvest of souls the Bible says that when one sinner repents the heavens rejoice I want every believer in this place let's be on our feet and rejoice 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 Rejoice! 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 Hallelujah! Adi, Adi, Peter, Shogumanya, is there somebody in this place who wants to dance a little bit more? Is there somebody in this place who wants to celebrate the life of our Father just a little bit more? Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. We are honoring the great apostle, the global apostle, the timeless apostle. His legacy continues in us. Fear not, sinner. Fear not, sinner. Fear not, sinner. The man who gave us the pattern, we will continue building according to the pattern we will continue producing the same because we have the pattern we have the pattern come on somebody rejoice 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 rejoice, rejoice. we are moving on so far bay number five bay number ten and the 9.5 so far they are the ones who are on top in celebrating so as we are about to enter into another segment of celebration it's your time to redeem your bay redeem your bay and as we are doing that listen I want to call upon just hang on hang on hang on listen listen if there's somebody here a child called Sashli Mfloro Sashli Mfloro Sashli Mfloro come quickly come here Sashli come here now say to your neighbor neighbor we are about to dance I want to introduce today Propiti Mutambiwa followed by Prosper Macharika. Come on, let's welcome them as we make a joyful noise. We are about to go higher. It's about to be dangerous in here. Joy, the joy of the Lord. Glory. Are you ready to celebrate? 
Are you ready to celebrate? There's one thing that I need to tell you. There's one thing. Okay, listen. Before I sing the song that I want to sing. Paneka nyoani. Magaka nswele. Baba Kuti said, this church shall not end. Zayocha Hyperi. Saka, Chimbochaka, Chauno Bata. I want you to grab something. I just want to introduce the song. Saka, Chauno Bata. And celebrate for the Lord. Help me, help me. Oh, oh, oh. All right. I know you are happy. Put your hands to the Lord. Do not walk up at something. One more day, tell you. It's what? Hi, Perry. Hi, Perry. Hi, Perry. You will send a prayer. Hi, Perry. Hi, Perry. Hi, Perry. Hi, Perry. You will send a prayer. Hi, Perry.
Beat. I have a show coming. Are you ready? Man, we take you. We take you. Man, we take you. Thank you very much. Yes, we are moving on. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Chimbondo and Titerera. Nikayo Sekaisiwe. Thank you. Kumakwa Kawasiwe. Banamaku Kawasiwe. Kutindi Rimwe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, the atmosphere is electrified. Let me borrow. Hello. Yes. Yes, we are excited. The atmosphere is electrified. We are moving on. We are moving on. Let me borrow words from my DSG Apostle Dr. Steve Simukai who says, there is a tsunami of people tonight in the house. Yes, a tsunami of people in the house. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna... Next, next on our list, we have Mwenje Matole. After Mwenje Matole. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. After Mwenje Matole, we are going to hear from uh, Saba Magacha. Ladies and gentlemen, Mwenje Matole, Mwenje Matole. I hear Mwenje Matole is not here. Let's call upon Sabasiana Makachu for you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Saba Makacha. Sabasian Makacha on the platform. Let's give it up, let's give it up, let's give it up. Let's make some noise for Sabasian Makacha for you. Come on, 
nakutaja tuku mama ukwere Pananuko nakutaja skapa mama ukwere Pananuko nakutiza zambi akabata mama ukwere Bata something bata something bata something Muno wese ritaposo Muno wese ritaposo Shut, shut, 
This one, listen to this one, and I know you love it. Oh Lord, you raise me.
celebrating a life well lived by a legend our father ladies and gentlemen we want to call upon uh faith makoni to come up stage and she's gonna make us dance and shake 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 faith makoni ladies and gentlemen Massive respect to the Most High God. <laughs> Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in our place. I young Ezekiel. I young Ezekiel. Our father the left side the button stick. To run, run the race with the button stick. So we want to do this new song. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Oh, the imaging generation. Uh -huh. Respect the most I can. To the represent the African apostle. Oh, the imaging generation. We they represent the African apostle. Oh, the imaging generation. We they represent the African apostle. Oh, the imaging generation. We they represent. One more time. Oh, the imaging generation. We they represent the African apostle. Oh, the imaging generation. We they. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. your feet in the air like this as we are representing representing are you ready one two every day they do what they never shall we they represent the african apostle oh the imaging generation we they represent let me hear you say oh the imaging generation we they represent the african apostle oh the imaging generation we they represent our father say this is to not die, our father said. Sin not fear, not our father said. All this days, young is in chaos. Our father said. This is to not die, our father said. Sin not fear, not our father said. God who raised. Young is in chaos. Now listen. Arise, arise. Everybody, we say arise. Arise. Simon's 
Je sais quoi, je sais. 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 Je sais getting ready the youth get ready but right now right now we are calling each year Zambia come on make a celebration make a joyful noise all the way from Zambia yeah let's celebrate as they come let's celebrate as they come each year Zambia hallelujah our God is a wonderful God. Amen. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I want to see you just wave your hand to the Lord and just love the Lord tonight. The Lord is a good God. How many of us remember the song? Can we do that together? Can we do that together? Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go.
Azayan Kambuye Azayan Kambuye Azayan Kambuye Azayan Kambuye Nizatumba kwa mulungu Azayan Nizatumba salula kwa mulungu Azayan Pepe, watch
Tuwayai Tutakai kenkambo Mambo Wawama Mikoka Yonse apano Pantanda Tuwayai tumusanchire
Ezekiel wakati wana mwari Ezekiel wakati wana mwari Ezekiel wakati wana mwari Kana usina jesu iwe wakasara 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 iwe Iwe wakasara Mwana wa maira mgu Upenyu wa tora rama Kana usina jesu Iwe wakasara 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 Iwe Baba Kana joguru mizo hii Tora vango mbo Kishno kise Kisa Mari Kana chakuru misayi Tora vango mbo Hana chose Baba Kana chakuru misayi Tora vango mbo Kutishu na kise Wakasara iwe Wakasara iwe Wakasara iwe Right, listen, listen. Our father was shown many stars. And the Lord said, these are the number of people you are going to lead, going to heaven. Is it? Isn't it? So do I have stars in the house? Hey, sir. Do I have stars in the house? If you are there, let me hear you scream. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's what? Do not want to umbo chamba chamba ushita noise. Come on, somebody, scream at 
to the Lord. Hey, Kayabosa. Tell the person next to you, say, Fear not, sin not. Tell the person next to you, say, Fear not, sin not. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You the high. Ahoy. You the high. Ahoy. You the high. On twi- page 20 of the history book, come on now. Our father, the seventh apostle of God, he writes. This ministry is not going to come to an end. Hallelujah. God will raise many, 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 Hold on, hold on. Sofarangu, sofarangu, diriku na matira. Sofarangu, ira sofarangu, sofarangu. Because we are surrounded by 
I saw greater cloud of witnesses. And as the youth ministry, the man in front of us today is our cloud of witnesses. Do you want to talk about encountering God as a boy, as a girl? At 15 years, Ezekiel met God that has gathered all of us here this evening. Do you want to talk about coming from nothing to amounting to greatness? The man here came from Gaon, a place that we would never have known had it not been that God raised Ezekiel. Do you want to talk about academic excellence as a youth? There is a boy who never went to school, who was taught to read the English Bible in a cave by the Holy Spirit. How then can I fail school? Do you want to talk about poverty? To talk about coming from nothing? The man who lies here, the first missionary vehicle he had was a bicycle he won from a dangerous race. Today you cannot count the properties we have, the Come cars on. we have, the countries we have impacted. Yeah. This was our you, cloud you, of you, witnesses. You, you, you. We are taking the baton. We are running with it. Thank he you. may not be physically here, but, but he lives in us. He lives in the books. He lives in what we taught us. He lives in what we would teach our children and their children and their children and their children. Long live our Father. Long live the spirit of his Ezekiel. Long live. Long live Ezekiel. Long live our Father. Long live Ezekiel. Long live the Apostle and Servant of God. I am Elder Jackson Jesus, representing the youth from Australia. Right. When the seed uh -huh. penetrated Zayotcha Forward in faith Barakatuba right. Let me tell you something oh. That Ezekiel Guti yeah. Was not a man uh -huh. For Zimbabwe uh -huh. But he was a man uh -huh. For other nations yeah. Shout fire. fire Shout fire, fire. Shout fire, fire. Shout fire. 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 fire! In Australia, we are supporting the islands. In Fiji, the youth of Australia have bought a mission vehicle. In Solomon Islands, the youth in Australia have bought a mission vehicle. In the Pacific Islands, there are mission vehicles that we as the youth of Australia have partnered with our father. And we have come with lawnmowers from Australia to the HQ. To Zeku, to Africa, shout fire! Fire! Hold on, hold on. Youth Muriko Ere. In Zwai, in Zwai. Mangwana, itakuti Mangwana. Itakuti Mangwana. Pay one, pay two, pay one, pay two. Youth Ministry Muriko Ere. Are you there? Thank you, youth. Sumuta. Thank you, youth. Thank you, youth. Let's clap our hands. This church is not going to die. God has raised this young Ezekiel. Let's celebrate them in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Clap your hands to Jesus. Clap your hands to Jesus. D. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fear not, see not, fear not, see not, fear not, see not. Osaska, what not fear not, fear not, see not, fear not, fear not, fear not, Osaska, you what not fear not, 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 Oh, 
Ichechi ya mwa ariva komana Ichechi ya mwa Sayonja Ichechi ya mwa ariva komana Ichechi ya mwa ariva Sayonja Ichechi ya mwa ariva komana Ichechi ya mwa ariva Sayonja Ichechi ya mwa ariva komana Listen to this Saka ha Yimbo pera kunye pera na Everybody Wana ha Yimbo pera Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Sure. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. Simuza. Hino ese, shaya kuta kutanga. Mungusu. Simuza. Simuza. 
It's wonderful to be here tonight. I'm so blessed to be here to celebrate our father. My name is my Margaret Mwamuka. All the way from Bulawayo. children of Baba Kuti. So Baba came down to a zone of deeper life. And there was a young man who was supposed to sing a song. But the young man was not there. And Baba looked at us and said, why do you like to sing songs by other people? Why don't you compose your own songs? And he was looking at my face. And I didn't know how to compose a song. But because Baba said it, but because Baba said it, I now have 15 songs on YouTube that I composed because of the grace of Baba. Chibomirai Munswe. Chibomirai Munswe. Is this We are the older generation that have given the battle stick to these young ones. When I turned 50 years in 2016, I asked myself, so am I going to die without recording a song? So here we are. 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 So here we want to sing a, a song called Pane Nyasha. Are you ready? Somebody say Pane Nyasha. Baba would say, Anor Warangati. Anor Warangati. Anor Warangati. Until Ware. Hallelujah. Anor Danyasha. Sina Nyasha. Gati. Pane Nyasha. Pane Nyasha. Pandimira Baba
praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know we are ready to go all the way. Thank you, our youth. Thank you so much. Thank you. We like the spirit. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue in the spirit of the celebrations, um, we are honored at this point in time uh, to receive uh, our national executive chairman to come and take his time. We were taught by our father and our mother. We are now sure. receiving our father. Zayocha. Praise the name He's of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Long live the legacy of Ezekiel Gucci. Long live the legacy of Ezekiel Handinawangu Gochi. Beautiful. Please take your seats in his presence. Mother, Archbishop Professor Yuna Guti, the Archbishops here present, Secretary General, Deputy Secretary General, all protocol duly observed. I am standing here first and foremost to thank you all for praying for our mother and the family during this time. Your prayers are working and to give glory to God. Hallelujah. As we said last time, this is a new normal for us. But we thank God for His grace. Let me also thank the committee that arranged this splendid setup. Oh, wonderful. Committee, God bless you. God bless you for the way you are celebrating the legacy of our Father. As I am standing, I will invite Dr. Dokas. Let me invite one family representative to speak to us, and then I will take up the platform again. <laughs> Clear pens for missions director. Dr. Dorcas, Dr. Winston. <clears throat> Baba would be happy to hear us singing. Jesus will never he will never fail. He will never Join me. Jesus. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. He, the Jesus, he, Jesus will never fail. We'll Whatever you may face when you call upon the God of Ezekiel, your breakthrough is coming. Jesus will never fail. Clear hands for Dr. Dockers. Thank you, NEC. All protocol duly observed. Tonight, we celebrate a legend of legends. And as I stand here representing the Guti family, I'm representing the different nations and right up to the great-grandchildren that our father had. We had the rare privilege of calling him dad. We had the rare privilege of calling the African apostle our dad and our father. Daddy prepared us for this new season over the years in the same manner that he prepared the church. And today we stand here because of your prayers and would like to thank you for your prayers. Over the 75 years of his non-stop preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, 100 years of life, there was not a day dead wasted. He would speak into our lives all the way to his grandchildren and his great-grandchildren. He was truly a loving father who was never too tired nor too busy for his family. There were times he would speak to us so strongly to rebuke and to get the foolishness out of us. We called it the apostolic encounter. This was a time when one would leave from where he was and they are just crying and they can't tell you what happened and we just say, apostolic encounter. We thank you for accepting this uncommon seed of the gospel that has impacted nations and gave fulfillment to his calling. As scriptures say, diligence is man's precious possession. And indeed, our dad fully utilized his precious possession and we thank you for your love and your continued prayers for the Gucci family. Thank you. Is Pastor Fiona around? Pastor Fiona, can you lead us with that song? Clap hands for Pastor Fiona all the way from Chicago. Family. Those who are able to come, please, let's sing the song. What is happening now, we are going to dismiss earlier because tomorrow by 7 o'clock we should be in the National Sports Stadium. Very early. But let me tell you, don't bring Vuvuzela tomorrow. Bring it on Sunday. For reasons I can tell you, don't bring Vuvuzela tomorrow. Bring it on Sunday. Right, SG? Right. We'll continue celebration tomorrow, but don't bring a Vuvuzela. Anything can happen, right? Family? No, go ahead.
who was a great man, to put it lightly. I think most of us here are asking ourselves, were we living with an angel or were we living with a real man? Just seeing the great work that he has done, that God used him to do throughout the nations. And so we're going to sing a song of thanksgiving. We thank you, Lord, with tears of joy that Ezekiel was given more years. He preached the gospel of Jesus Christ the world over in many nations. We thank you, Lord. We are going to sing this other song, which um, our father, our dad, the seven and apostle of God was singing um, when he was doing the work of God, driving, you know. Walking with Jesus by his side, now stay, I am walking with Jesus in the narrow way, traveling along together day by day, walking in the King's side. Hallelujah, walking with Jesus by his side. I'll stay, I am walking with Jesus in the narrow way. Pens for the family.
Apostle Steve. time to Apostle Steve as we prepare to dismiss, then uh, one of the bishops gives a closing prayer and it. Choir, can you please sing coming down, 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 down. As the, as the choir is taking their position, uh, our executive chairman, the presiding apostle, has told us that tomorrow is a very important day. Our father is being honored by the country. And we do not want the country to honor our father when we are not there. The program begins at 7 in the morning. Hence, the reason for us to cut uh, our festivities. So we are asking to you, we are appealing to all of us to come in our numbers. To be there to witness a historic occasion. Uh, as far as my recollection is concerned, I don't know of any religious Christian leader who has been given that honor. So we need to be there at 7 o'clock in our numbers to join our leaders in the country in honoring our father. So um, are you, are you, oh, thank you. Thank you. So we are going to be singing, coming down, 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 as uh, there will be queuing uh, here to prepare for us to close the meeting as... Uh, uh, coming down, yes. Coming down, down, down. So we will sing. Um, if it is okay with you, we will stand on our feet and uh, we will allow the protocol to uh, escort the body of our father uh, standing in honor, in honor of this great man. Can you sing for us? Then we will pray after that. down, down the glory of the Lord is coming down when the saints begin to pray for the Lord to have his way and the glory of the Lord is coming down coming down
of His way. And the glory of the Lord is coming down. of reverence we are asking you not to go before we close in prayer please please thank you we will sing we'll continue to sing and then our archbishop will pray Pray for the Lord to have his way. 
today, let we start another 50 years together. Let we start. Now I said, I'm going to escort you in this new 50 years. I'm going to move with you and later on, many, many years, then I will disappear and be with the Lord. But at present now, I'm going with you this 50 years again. We are starting 50 years today to move together.